impact really turns the game around. And because I was really expecting the high off player to uh, really be conceiving it after a couple of turns after this position, uh, things might be a lot different now. So let's go to the next Soto. Uh, Dragon Prince is still hacking away at the uh, Wild Riders and actually managing to to defeat them at some point. Uh, very nice photo this, good good looking. Um, and gotta admire this guy's base uh, as well for the movement tray. Very, uh, looking very good, but um, not really achieving what he wants to here because the Dragon Prince has definitely outclassed the Wild Riders in close combat, that's for sure. Especially with a character there, character with a Star Lance, doesn't get to use the Star Lance. He's got a magical attack though, so no uh, Forest Spirit save, I believe, or is it just a normal six plus save? I forget. Next photo though, um, the Waywatchers are closing in and the Warhawk Riders are closing in on that lone mage. Actually failed to rally himself and actually um, ran off the board, but rolled a double one for the running off the board, so he just twaddled, waddled his way over to, court, uh, to the table edge and then got shot by Waywatchers and Warhawks who managed to finish the job. So um, good play there by the, uh, the Wood Elves, but uh, getting the job done, killing that mage. Next photo. A better overview here shows you the uh, Glade Rider, the Wild Riders, keep calling them Glade Riders, but they are Wild Riders, are returning from the Table Edge having destroyed the Shadow Warriors and the repeated Bolt Thrower, but their buddies have been run down by the Dragon Princes, and now it's the uh, high off turns. So the Dragon Princes will now be able to charge the Warhawk Riders and uh, get themselves into a better position um, over there, hopefully not getting killing blowed by the short range uh, way watchers, but we'll see. In On the other side of the board, the Wood of Player has barely done anything. He's just moved forward that one forest with all of his uh, tree kin and his dryads and his, his mages in it, but suddenly this game somehow, even though it looked awful for the High Elves earlier on, is actually looking very good for the High Elves. So uh, let's go to the next photo. Dragon Prince has charged the Warhawk Riders. The Warhawk Riders rolled just enough to escape. So they are, are fleeing away in panic, and uh, the High Elf uh, uh, Dragon Princes there are uh, hopefully out of charge arc of that um, that Glade running unit, but in the flank for the uh, the um, Waywatchers, if that makes any difference. Next photo, uh, barrage of, of, of High Elf magic uh, destroys all but one of the Waywatchers and all but two of the Wild Riders with uh, Flaming Head, or not Flaming Head, I think it was a Fiery Blast and, uh, and a Fireball or two, but you, you get the picture. High Elf magic absolutely dominating at this point. No scrolls left for the Wood Elf player, no extra Dispel dice for the Cluster of Radiance from the Truman Ancient. Next photo, um, we've got Dragon Princess being um, shot at by one single Way Watcher who doesn't quite get the job done. And uh, they've got a banner there from, um, from slaughtering the Wild Riders. And in the meantime, the uh, Dryads moving over the hill to deal with them or be crushed by them <laughs> either way. Next photo, the single uh, remaining Wild Rider champion, like this photo, uh, moves in over the wood. Um, you can see some Warhawk Riders in the background next to my computer monitor. They have uh, panicked and they have failed to rally. They flew off the board, so the Wood Elf players had to remove them and put them to one side. They're not in the game. They have been destroyed. Uh, this uh, group of forests has been slowly surfing its way towards the High Elf line, but High Elves, they don't really care. They just have to back up, shoot some, some magic if the Dryads move within two inches of the forest edge, which are not at the moment, but uh, looking pretty, uh, pretty tight at the moment. Well, not really looking tight, but it's looking uh, tightly wrapped up for the High Elves, is what I should say. Next picture, um, the Wood Elves are getting ever closer, and the High Elves are sort of moving around to, to uh, well, will be moving around to uh, engage them or, or not, uh, but at this point, um, things are looking very good. Definitely up on points for the High Elf player. Next photo, the Dragon Princess charge into the, um, the Dryads, and oh man, this combat. This is one of the, the most epic fail combats I've ever seen. Noble with a Star Lance, mind you, so that's three to hit, two to kill on the Dryads. Fluffs everything, does no wounds. The Dragon Princes get like th three hits, no wounds. The horses do nothing. Then the Dryads attack back. All of the armor saves are saved. And then it's a break test. The Dryads fail just because of static combat res and uh, flee, but the Dragon Princes don't even catch them. How uh, incompetent from both sides. So next, next photo... Oh, I love this photo. This is actually the um, the Waywatcher Lord model, which is just using as a Waywatcher. And um, yeah, as you can see, the shadows in the background, uh, big long shadow in the foreground. Awesome photo. I'm just going to use this picture to advertise the game, actually, because it looks fantastic. No particular tactical thing going on here. I just love the photo. Next picture, the uh, Dragon Princess up against the uh, Dryads yet again. The Dryads rally, so it gives the Dragon Princess another chance to run them down. There's a captured banner there, and they haven't lost it yet. So things looking good. They'll even be able to contest the table quarter. Next photo, uh, in they go, so um, bam. This time, the High Elf player uh, gets much more average rolling and trashes the Dryads, as expected, wiping them out, getting another uh, lot of points and capturing that table quarter as well. 
what else have we got in this game? Man, it's, it's been a great game and it's uh, been an unexpected game. I actually thought the Hiles were the underdogs, but um, things really turned out in their favour thanks to that tree man sniping. Over here, we've got high elf um, forces turning around to shoot at uh, the dryads who have presented themselves. Um, some magic goes off on the tree. Ken doesn't kill any of them, though. Gets a couple of wounds. And otherwise, he's done the smart move here, and he's just moved his blocks back because we're now into, like, turn six. One more turn for the wood elf player, and this will prevent him from actually wiping out uh, the high elves and getting any points back. So next photo... Tree can charge the, the Phoenix Guard but fail because they're like a quarter of an inch out. It could have been cool to attack the Archmage in there. She'd lost a wound from miscasting at one point. There's a BSB with just a Reaver Bow. Um, so that gives the Tree can some, some, um, some combat res. You know, you don't have to attack the Phoenix Guard because that's 4 plus wards. You attack the characters instead. They don't get the 4 plus wards. So that would have been a great combat for the Wood Elves. But again, High Elf player manages to, to, to do what he needs to. He even moved the Repeater Bolt Thrower back 5 inches. Just denying that Wood Elf player the opportunity to rush in. The Dryads attack the, uh, the Archers on the hill. Epic fail. The, the, the archers have a hill bonus, rank bonus, and an up number bonus. The dryads only get like two wounds. They fail their break test. They can't rally. Destroyed. End of game. And an amazing victory for the high off player after all of that. Uh, despite uh, actually a, a botched up deployment in my, in my um, opinion. Um, some decent decisions later on in the game. Some good luck with magic. Totally sealed it. And uh, unfortunately, a very bitter defeat for the Wood Elves. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It's a very, very good looking game. I like the lighting. Uh, awesome paint job on many of these uh, Wood Elf models, models. So I'm sure, sure you guys enjoyed watching those. Should have a game for you tomorrow. I think um, it's going to be High Elves versus High Elves. It's going to be the last game of the Mini Guard Con League that I've been participating in. It's going to be a tough game against uh, one of my friends who I've played against a few times before. But uh, it'll be a tight game. And I hope to show you guys a good result uh, later on. But we'll see. All right. See you guys later.